So um, I want to talk. Uh, uh, I want to talk Midsummer Mayhem uh, and and then much ado about baseball, the newest one. Uh, before I do, I have this uh, burning question because I know that you're a doctor, and I, I read a blog post you wrote um, for. I was a Writer's Digest about the overlap between being a doctor and an author. Um, and I had talked with uh, Dr. Susan McCormick, who was on episode 117, esteemed audience. Make sure you check that out. Uh, and she had told me uh, something that I, 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 I so love. Uh, and we were talking about that feeling of, of when the muse speaks to you, whatever that is, whether it's your, your self-conscious or whatever, you're working hard on a manuscript and then an inspired idea comes to you. And she said that by practicing writing, I'm going to misquote her. So that's why you need to go back and listen to the actual episode, 117, esteemed audience. Uh, but my, my, my best recollection uh, is that 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 skill that she developed as an author came in handy as a doctor because she'd be thinking about her patients and how to prescribe the best care for them. And she'd be looking at their, their information, thinking about them. And then same process out of almost nowhere, the muse would speak to her and give her some advice on, on how to treat those patients as well. Do you find that to be true? I definitely think that writing makes me a better doctor. I also think that doctoring makes me a better writer. Uh, I think that both of these careers, both of these professions require um, keen observational skills, but not just observation, um, being able to draw conclusions from what you uh, see and feel and hear and uh, smell. Um, so there's that. I think that, uh, as you just alluded, um, you know, everyone thinks of writing as this kind of art that like a thunderbolt hits you and <laughs> suddenly, you know, war and peace comes out of you. Um, but we know, we writers know that yes, there's art to it, but there's also craft and that you spend years and years and years developing your craft and um, honing your skills, just like you do in medicine. And uh, that, when the muse is eluding you, that you can rely on craft, that you can just sit there and go, okay, I don't really feel particularly inspired, but you know, I know how to plot and I know how to like make, you know, set up a scene and I can just do that and plod through it even when it doesn't feel good. Uh, and then eventually you get back to the place where it feels good. Similarly, uh, medicine, while it is a science for sure, is there is a lot of art to it. And, uh, you know, a lot of the art in medicine has to do with listening. It has to do with listening to the patient in front of you and what they're really trying to say and really trying to get at the heart of that because you can be the most brilliant doctor. If you do not address what your patient is worried about, you have failed. So that's, you know, important. And then the other thing um, is, yes, there is a, sometimes an intuition um, that is talking to you saying something is wrong, something is wrong, or I think it's this, or it doesn't seem like this, but it seems like it should be, um, that if you listen to that voice, um, you can uh, sometimes figure out something much more quickly than if you just went through and plodded through your checklist of things. So yeah, and I think most importantly, uh, both writing and medicine are at their heart about people. And I love people. I love the people that I meet and that I get to, you know, interact with and learn about. And I love the people that I make up in my head. <laughs> and the closest, the closer I can get the emotions of the imaginary people to reflect real emotions of real people in the real world, the better my writing is.